Attorney Kenneth Manuel K. Top 6, 2019 Bar Exam Please describe your learning style like visual or auditory. I think I am a visual learner. I tend to get irritated by the slightest layouting errors, margins, alignment, etc. Gusto ko kapag yung material is generous sa margins. It pleases me when my notes are with highlights and markings, and there are rare occasions when I get to remember where a particular provision is placed in my notes. Like yung mga moments na binilugin ko to a ah, nasa bandang babata ng page. Please share your study techniques or best review practices which you think helped you top the 2019 bar examinations. A. Memorization techniques diagrams. When memorizing, I tend to make diagrams grammatically chunkang each word and phrase. I think the process is technically called grammatical parsing, although I am really unsure of this. It highlights enumerations, conjunctions, and modifiers. It makes lengthy provisions in legalese less confusing. I sometimes further dissect words to morphemes, prefixes, suffixes, root words to help me understand a term. Mnemonics. I did a lot of mnemonics as well. I make my mnemonics with background stories to make it more memorable. The more ridiculous a mnemonic is, the more it will stick to my mind. Repetitive reading. The best method is repetitive reading. Even without consciously memorizing a particular line of the Supreme Court or a particular provision, if in the process of finishing one's reading, it gets repeated so many times, there's a great chance that it will stick to one's mind. B. Bar materials, i.e. codals, is a reference book, shares cases, memory aid, personal notes. First, on codals, curiously, I did not have any codals. I thought they are too expensive for such a small book, and I find it inconvenient that there is little space for my notes. I did not use any, although I own a tax and rem codal because my profs forced me to buy. I use Law Ones app which contains all the laws. Cheaper than the physical one. Second, on reference books. Here are what I use, Political Law of BOC, Consti and OEC Codal, Attorney, Sandoval's and Attorney, Goro Speed's Handouts Labor Law Professor, Chance Last Minute Tips, Sobrang Unprepared Diba, Lowest Ku Labor sa Bar, Civil Law Attorney, Rabuya PFR, Prop Din Pagirigan, Wills, of BOC, The Rest, Taxation Wala. Hindi na nagkasya sa oras. But since I teach tax sa CPA review, I thought I can relay on my stock knowledge. Mercantile law din. Sandi ang USTGN for new rules. Criminal law transcribed notes of Prosec. Garcia's lectures. Highly recommended. As in my sole authority for criminal law remedial law din Riano series for CIPRO, CRIMPRO, and Evidence din Festin and Justice de Leon for SPECPRO, USTG and for new rules legal ethics stick to the canons. Then memorize the lawyer's oath I did not read a lot of the chair's cases thinking that it will not be included in the bar or baka tamad din kasi ako magbasa ng kaso, feeling ko wala ng time with the lucky exception of political law. I mostly relied on lectures. If the lecturer will tell something about chair's cases then I will be able to take note of it. If he, she misses it, then I might never know that that case exists. I also thought that I should prioritize concepts rather than the chair's cases since knowing me the concepts will help me answer questions whether they are based on the chair's cases or not. C. Hours of reading since I worked during my bar review, I was not really able to read a lot. On weekdays, I read for 0 hanggang 2 hours, work shed is 7 a.m. hanggang 5 p.m., and shed in review center is 5 p.m. hanggang 9 p.m., so forgive me, dation and pagod na ako by night time, but I stretch myself on weekends and read for some po hanggang 14 hours. Ganon. Palaban. During the bar month, I wake up at 7 a.m. to study and go home at around 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. D. Review Center, Kochang I enrolled at Villasis Law Center because it is the nearest to both my work and my home. 
Conveniently, everything was within a walking distance during my bar review. I guess that saved me a lot of time and energy. Well, Dean Villasis was likewise my professor in remedial law review, and knowing him, I know I'd be able to hurdle remedial law with him, which is, of course, a major consideration. I also looked at the roster of reviewers, and thought that a lot are prominent names and some were also my professors in law school, so I took the shot. I did not avail of the bar coaching in VLC, but there are coaching sessions in UST which I attended. Mock bar I took mock bars at VLC and UST, but I only took half of them. May pa mock bar din si Dean Divina, which I really appreciated kasi may comments bumalik yung mock bar. I no longer attended mock bars of September and October as I am already cramming to cover everything. Mamaliin ko rin naman yung mock bar, I told myself haha, mock bars are a great way to get a feel of how it feels like to write for 4 hours. Endurance test kasi talaga sa kamay ang bar. I used mock bars to strategize how I will write my margins and to fill the final pen I will use for the bar. F. Law school training as a working student scapegoat na bato, I was not really studious. I really strategized by studying my professors knowing their favorite topics, scoring for samplex, looking for provisions emphasized during discussion, listen attentively to how the professor said it and use it as the keywords in exams. This is studying smartly, but it's only to survive law school, and it's not for bar preparedness. I would really suggest against this, especially if one has the luxury of time to study. G. Schedule and I followed the order of VLC. They started with second week subjects, followed by the third week, then fourth, and ending with the first week subjects. May pa-calendar pa ako and our allotment per topic, but I was not able to pace myself simultaneously with the topic being discussed. VLC was already discussing poly, I am still reading Merck. Please share your tips on how to answer bar exam questions, A. Eh? Form, how you write, whether print or cursive, pen used, blocking, margins, and I write in print. I think cursive takes too long to write, and my cursive looks horrible. I used Sarasa Clip 1.0 in blue because it has a nice grip and it writes smoothly. I expected the spacing in the bar booklet is huge that's why I chose 1.0. Looking back, I think I should have opted for 0.7. I chose 1.0 also because it will force me to write with a larger font, one thing which I struggled during law school. Downside of Sarasa Clip is that I consume an entire ink refill just for one subject, and it is expensive and quite a pain to find. I tried to do left and right margins on the actual bar, but of course, my right margins were bound to fail. B. Content X, tatlo ta apat na paragraph rule, categorical ans legal basis application conclusion, I used clear, something attorney. Loan Zan taught us during my first year in law school. Clear stands for conclusion, legal basis, exception, analysis, and repeat conclusion. Repeating conclusion is a must for me, especially since I tend to write lengthily. I did not follow a rule on my number of paragraphs although I consciously tried to limit the length of my answers depending on the number of points I can get out of the question. A isang porsyento question normally merits half a page, approximately 8 hanggang 10 lines. A dalawang porsyento question would occupy two-thirds or three-quarters of the page. A tatlong porsyento question would definitely take me two pages to answer. I really tend to write a lot. I think I averaged apat na po hanggang limampu pages for every bar subject. Reviewers will tell that we should keep our answers short and direct to the point. I differ especially when you know that what you are trying to expound on is correct and is still addressing the question. The disadvantage is that it is torture to your aching hand. Apat. What was your lowest moment during the bar season, if there is any? And how did you overcome it? 
Lowest moment during bar season is yung feeling na sobrang pagod ka na sa work dagdag bar review tapos ang lapit na ng bar pero ang layo pa nang tatapusin mo. There was this feeling of uncertainty as to whether I will pass or fail the bar because this is not false humility. I came in really unprepared. I never finished my intended first readings. Primary references lang natapos ko, and I was not able to go over my secondary references. I think I did the minimum, I just aim for completion of all the topics setting aside mastery. During the actual bar, my lowest moment is definitely remedial low. The pressure of taking that heavily weighted subject and its surprising difficulty really dragged my confidence to the pit. I suddenly forgot the grounds for petition for relief or the requisites for admissibility of an independently relevant statement which are supposed to be basic questions but I think I missed on the actual bar. What words of encouragement can you share to the law students and bar reviewees, or to the public in general, amidst our battle against COVID-19? Purpose. It all boils down to purpose. We always remember our purpose, why we started pursuing our dreams, why we even thought of it in the first place. It may be for our loved ones, to make them proud or give them a comfortable life, or be it for our society, to fight against injustices and inequality. When we think of giving up, we remember our purpose, and we make that our fuel, our driving force, our mental strength to stand up and continue the pursuit of our dreams. We remind ourselves of how far we have reached, and how it will make little sense to give up when we are already at the end game. We remind ourselves of the troubles our counter Y is facing, and how our country needs us more than ever. Please share an instance which you think is your ember as a moment during the bar month. Anything funny, humiliating which will inform many that one need not be perfect to top or pass the bar ang siguro nung civil law. Sa actual bar kasi, five bells yung tutunog. Yung fourth bell meaning five minutes left tapos yung fifth bell, ang ibig sabihin is pass your booklets and stop writing ganon. Medyo hindi pa ako tapos sa civil tapos nagmamadali akong magsulat. Nag-fourth bell bigla tapos sabi nung proctor na stop writing ng pasigaw. E di napasigaw din ako sa proctor, 5 minutes pa. Ha 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 sorry sa proctor pero sis the panic set in, huwag mo ako i-deprive ng limang minutong pagsusulat ha ha ha. Medyo nagulat mga kasama ko sa room nung ginawa ko yon. Hindi ko talaga sinasadya ha ha ha.